Today on the WTFS Crypto Space Podcast, banks back Bitcoin, crypto-based business set to rise, and Snapchat snaps up cryptocurrency. All this and more on the WTFS Crypto Space Podcast. Stay tuned. Welcome to WTF is Crypto Space. I'm Brent. And I am Chad. This podcast is all about the crypto space. Shout out time. It's going to be the top three locations from last week. Go for it, Brett. Miami, Florida, United States, Piemont, Australia, that's in New South Wales, and Fairfax in the United States. All right, let's go straight into the topic. Uh, bank uh, Banks will trade cryptocurrency sooner than you think, says former JP Morgan blockchain executive Brett. Tell us a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, right. Okay, so former head of JP Morgan uh, Blockchain Operations says banks like her former employer could get into the crypto business eminently. Um, so that, that basically means that it's going to be um, <laughs> beneficial to be in the crypto space straight up. Yeah, straight up. huge. She's saying, I think it's coming sooner than people probably think. Uh, says, great. Yeah, look, because the other thing is that they now have a, a JP Morgan has a blockchain arm. And um, Baldit's uh, another person in that space, unveiled uh, her new startup, uh, Clover, uh, this week, which is offering something similar to the App Store, but for decentralized applications. You could just see huge, huge implications coming for Android and Apple stores, right? Because you've got um, our buddies over at Game Credits and these guys... And they're all tackling against those apps, whether they be gaming apps or centralized apps, you know? And the thing is, is this is pushing it further. Now, we we're seeing some some dips in prices at the moment, but I think that's specifically because there's scaremongering happening out there to get your cryptocurrency off you. So this is some advice. Just remember, this is only advice. Keep your money. Keep your cryptocurrency. Keep it in. Hodl. Hodl, 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 hodl. That's what you need to do. Hold that baby boy. And also, um, the more you hold, the the higher the price will go up and the less likely that the bank is going to take over your money. Simple. All right, Chad. So the second article we're looking at is why Coinbase's cryptocurrency business could jump 50%. Go. Today, there is more than six hundred sorry, $365 billion invested in Bitcoin, which is you know a billion dollars for every day of the year, and other cryptocurrencies. And these are individually owned by investors. They're individual investors, not by Wall Street institutions. However, that's about to change. Coinbase, the largest U.S. Bitcoin exchange, launched a new professional-grade trading product for institutional investors this week, citing rise for demand of cryptocurrency for smart heavyweights and their monies. Brett, what yeah, do you think? Yeah, look, uh, this sounds a bit centralized to me, right? So mm. part of the whole, th the part of the whole uh, scope of the crypto space is to look at decentralized peer-to-peer -peer exchange. That's what it is, right? Yes, absolutely. And this is great, but what they're saying is you have to have a minimum of a ten million dollar deposit, right? <laughs> what? And so for this high level, and it's a custodian service. And the whole point of these services is to move into a non-custodian. But they're saying, hey, 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 it's a safe custodian product. And you can quote White on that. Well, the other thing about that is it's just rich getting rich again. It's rich is getting richer. Um, and it's the, the point of uh, that's so attractive to us about cryptocurrency and the crypto space is that it's so accessible for everyone. Stocks are, have an entry level. They have to have a brokerage. You have to have like knowledge of stuff. Cryptocurrency, all you have to do is have a wallet, have a little bit of knowledge of how, how to buy from your own crypto, from your own fiat currency into cryptocurrency. Then you can trade yourself. This is entry level at $10 million. That's for people that are just dabbling. Imagine if $10 million was just Trump change for you. Just nothing. That's the kind of people they're talking about, and that's that's fine. They can invest as well. However, these people now will have even more of a heavy swing when it comes to things. But the best thing about the centralized platform is that no one alone can say what happens. 51% don't mean shit. The whole 100% have to say something or nothing changes. Uh, also, guys, just, just as a disclaimer, remember, we're just two Aussie brothers bringing you this information. You need to make your own decisions. This is, this is in fact, this is specifically for entertainment. So, uh, moving on. 
Okay, Chad. So number three, uh, we've got Snapchat's main investor is forming a cryptocurrency fund. Tell us about it. Ridiculous. On May 18, uh, Rico reported that it is discovered Lightspeed Venture Partners, the main investing firm for backing technology companies like Snapchat operator Snap, is planning to establish a fund that is exclusive to the cryptocurrency market. Now, I'll be honest, Snapchat is pretty great um, for the young kids, for the kids uh, these days, and they've extremely popular um so popular that i'm at the age of what i am now i don't even know what what to do with snapchat i just know there's cool features uh, like filters um but if they're able to permeate the entire youth imagine what they could do with the cryptocurrency and how solid it can be because being a main just being as an investor or a developer sorry a developer in this in this by yourself it's very hard to get it all solid and working without a test team and all that sort of stuff. Moving on, uh, the last topic of the day uh, before we end out is uh, Wankcoin is a is the porn cryptocurrency token you knew was inevitable. Brett, thanks for throwing it across to me, Chad. So You're the, welcome. The concept of blockchain and its proliferation is not difficult to understand. The same kids who attended endless birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese simply knew grew, never grew out of the concept of exchanging currency for tokens. That could be used for goods and services. As adults, we carry pockets of ceramic or plastic chips when we frequent casinos. It's no different. Now, the porn industry, uh, there's some history of the porn industry. Um, not that I know much. I just listen to guys who are in film and television, and they are the ones, porn industry is the forefront of anything. So we, VR, the reason why we have super amounts of VR is because of the porn industry. Because we, the reason why we have great lighting when it comes to movies and cinema and the best framing and stuff like that is because of the porn industry. The reason why we have the red camera is because the porn industry was like, we need to make this is super that, sharp so we can see all the pores. Is that, is that like when we move from kerosene to electricity because the models were being choked to death by the... Uh, no, 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 it was... It, we moved just from a rumor. Uh, electricity. <laughs> we moved from electricity, so from candlelight to electricity because it made it made the filming in black and white so much easier to capture some ladies' boobs. Sorry, Mum. Mum does listen to this podcast. I apologize. So uh, that's the reason why, and this is going to be interesting. Of course, wank coin is going to be a thing. We don't want to talk about it anymore, but just out there for people who want to invest in that particular cryptocurrency, it's there for you. Um, well, guys, thank you so much for listening. Uh, as we are now on Patreon, for all our donors, you will get exclusive Patreon-only content for as little as $2 a month. Go over to patreon.com slash WTF Crypto Space. Uh, Patreon topics uh, this week is going to be uh, a continuation of our discussion on JP Morgan's move to Bitcoin, and we're going to reveal some companies that are using Bitcoin this year that are making the jump this year. And there's some surprising big companies. We're talking billion-dollar companies, and we're talking software companies. So stay tuned for that. Go over there and, and, and go to Patreon. Remember, if you like this episode, drop us a like and comment on our socials. Uh, quick subscribe on your podcasting app to get this show in your regular podcasting feed every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. But until next time, I'm Chad. And I'm Brett. Let's get excited about the crypto space. The transition has begun. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do